everyone for joining us today. My name is Greg Gutman, and I'm pleased to kick off this session on intelligent search with my colleague, Ben Middleton. To provide some context around search, I'd like to talk about a company called Wayfair. Some of you might've heard of the retailer Wayfair before, and maybe some of you have even shopped there. Amazingly, as it sounds, in 2021, search is still broken on many sites. By recognizing the weakness of search on competitor sites, Wayfair went ahead and seized the opportunity to launch themselves way beyond the competition. I highly recommend that you spend some time exploring the search functionality at Wayfair. It is incredibly easy to get relevant results and narrow down the results with its dynamically changing facets. The improved search experience is, of course, only one part of their success. But what they've done with search is truly inspirational. I'd like to turn it now over to Ben Middleton, who will go through our architecture and will explain how the new features will create your own inspirational search experience. Thank you, Greg. My name is Ben Middleton, and I'd first like to walk you through the search experience that we already offer in Trillion for both Docs and Sites customers. I'll then provide a sneak peek into the upcoming intelligent search features we are building for our next releases. We provided full text search functionality within our Dynamic Experience Delivery Platform, or DXD, for Trillion Docs customers for several years. In Trillion Sites 9.5, we've enabled the same search functionality, tailoring it to the component-based nature of Trillion Sites. Our search functionality is built against an elastic search index. We've optimized this index to cater for the Trillion Sites component model, making use of the new data pipeline during publishing. Web application developers can retrieve search results via either the existing IQ query service or our new GraphQL-based content service. This diagram shows the components involved in our search features. On the left-hand side, you can see the Trillion Docs and Trillion Sites content management products. These produce publishing packages, which are fed into the DXD deployer service. This is our primary content ingestion service. Within that service, we have a number of different extensions that support each of the content management systems. And within those extensions, we process those incoming packages into a number of steps. One of these steps is our index step, which is responsible for indexing content into our index service. The index service provides a level of abstraction on top of our underlying Elasticsearch cluster, just in case we ever wish to change our search engine implementation in the future. So once that data is in our search system, we expose that to our content service, our primary content retrieval service. This service exposes a GraphQL endpoint that allows customers to build rich content websites. We use GraphQL as it is well suited to web application development, where application designers have the flexibility to build the queries they need to construct their pages with just the data that they need in as few requests as possible. GraphQL provides clients in many languages and is ideally suited for building headless web applications. Now this GraphQL service was extended in the Trillion Sites 9.5 release to expose a set of full text search queries within the DXD platform. This is of course is available for both Trillion Docs and Trillion Sites customers. Given that we're using the same search functionality for content published into DXD by both Trillion Sites and Trillion Docs, we can build search queries across both sets of content. These search mashups are ideal for customers that may have their marketing content sitting within a Trillion Sites system and their technical documentation sitting within Trillion Docs. Our GraphQL search endpoint supports retrieval content from both of these systems. If you're interested in a deep dive into more of our search features, please review the session we presented in our last TH TXS session at the address shown below. I've described some of what is possible today using our current search features. I'd now like to provide a sneak peek into our upcoming intelligent search features. In our next releases of Trillion Sites and Docs, we are providing a sophisticated, faceted search capability. We've partnered with one of the leading providers of graph-based metadata and analytic solutions, Semantic Web Company, and have integrated with their pool party taxonomy management system. We've built a connector that allows editors to tag their content using keywords or concepts from a pool party taxonomy. Once published to our DXD platform, web, app web application developers can build sophisticated faceted search systems 
based upon the relationships between concepts within the taxonomy. Editorial users can tag their content using concepts coming from Pool Party. Schema designers have the flexibility of selecting concepts in different ways to suit the editorial flow. In this example, there is a multi-select list for one of the fields and a tree view for another. Editorial users can configure their content to have automatic tag suggestions as they type, based upon the content of their components. The connector also supports automated batch tagging of multiple items. This tagging functionality is driven by Pool Party's recommendation system. Tridian Docs provides equivalent tagging features within their topic metadata. This diagram shows the components involved in the faceted search solution. The left-hand side provides details of the content management components for both Tridian Sites and Tridian Docs. At the top is the Pool Party Management UI, which knowledge managers use to create and maintain taxonomies. Such taxonomies can be shared between both Tridian Sites and Tridian Docs. The Trillion Docs Content Manager is configured to expose pool party taxonomies to particular metadata fields. Editors can classify topics using concepts from the taxonomy, get concept suggestions, or perform automated batch tagging of content. The tag content is then published to the DXD platform by means of a publishing package, which contains references to the concept IDs within pool party. Similarly, for Trillion Sites, the Content Manager is configured to expose pool party taxonomies by means of an external content connector. This uses our existing connector framework. Editors can navigate and classify their content, and auto-tagging and batch tagging is also supported. The tag content is then published to the DXD platform by means of a transport publishing package, which contains references to ECL URIs. Our publishing decouples the taxonomy hierarchy from the concept references. This allows us to manage taxonomy changes independently from the content publishing workflow. A typical use case is where a customer may introduce a new language translation of a particular taxonomy, but don't want the overhead of having to republish all their content. Tridian Docs and Sites editorial users can refresh the delivery view of the taxonomy explicitly at any time. Having published your content, the right-hand side provides details of the content delivery components involved in faceted search. Content comes into the deployer from a content management systems as before, and the deployer indexes the content into our Elasticsearch cluster. We also maintain another Elasticsearch index, which contains the hierarchy and labels for the pool party taxonomy. This index is kept in sync with pool party. Our search index has been extended to store the relationships between concepts within the taxonomy allowing us to perform concept-based faceted search queries against our data. For example, an item of content tagged with a particular concept would also be retrievable via a broader term, albeit with a lower search score. Similarly, we can retrieve items of content based upon related concepts, as defined within the pool party taxonomy. Customers building websites can search for facets using our content service. Having indexed the content and taxonomies, we provide a new flexible search query. This is capable of combining regular full text search criteria with concept based searches. In addition, the search query can display facet count summaries alongside matching documents, which is the building block for faceted search solutions. This example GraphQL query illustrates some of the features of the new API. On the left at the top, you can see the new search criteria, in this example, showing a concept criteria. Below this is the facet configuration, which allows API users to define which facet summaries to include with the results. At the bottom on the left is the standard GraphQL results definition, in this case for which fields from the facet summaries to display. On the right is where we define which fields to return in the search results. You'll see we include the new concept fields in here. Both the facet summaries and search results can be included in the same result set. This allows customers to build drill down faceted search systems with revised facet summaries and matching documents on each request. This example GraphQL query result shows the sort of data you can expect to retrieve. On the left are the facet summaries as configured in the request, and on the right are the search results. Users of the API can choose to return either the facets, the results, or both depending on their needs. Thank you for joining us today. 
We hope this gives you an insight to the features that we're building and how they will allow you to build your own inspirational search experience, such as provided by Wayfair, but using the native capabilities of Trillion Sites and Docs. We'll have more details on these exciting features nearer the release. Thank you.